Welcome to the video by DJSBRC. We have our slash. It's a 4x4 ultimate. I want to show you how to remove your rear A arms on this vehicle. Uh, if you do break one, they're not hard to replace at all. Uh, I do have multiple videos on this vehicle, uh, how to do certain stuff. But today, we're going to show you how to change your rear A arm. Basically, one of the first things we'll need to do is grab our 2 mil. We'll have four screws to remove in the back. You'll have uh, two 2 mils here and a 2.5 that holds the sway bar in. And I might be able to bring you guys in a bit. Here we go. These two here and these two there. Basically, what we're trying to do here is uh, to remove the rear bumper to be able to have access to the hinge pins. There's a couple of ways you could do it. You can physically dismantle the complete back end of this vehicle. But I try, again, to remove less pieces as possible. Um, before I do these two here, I was gonna remove a tire here. You will need a seven mil. And then I will need my 2.5, that somewhere in my table. Remove this guy here. Again, they're super small screws. I'm going to try to put myself more in, in the camera here. Put that one. Now you'll see your uh, sway bar is in the way. Now, your vehicle may not have a sway bar. The Slash Ultimate comes with it. Uh, and this is a Slash Ultimate. We're going to flip the vehicle around. We'll have two, two, point five, two mils right here. I was about to say 2.5, but for 2 mil. And those are two small screws. Okay. And we'll have another 2. Point, I don't know why I have my 2.5 today in my head. A 2 mil right here. That will be a longer one. And you'll be able to remove your rear bumper. Now, just be careful when you do that. This blue bar, that's your hinge pins holder, will come off. Because we removed the center screw here. Just put it aside. Uh, you'll notice there is a, a way specific it goes. You could physically put it upside down if you wanted to, but it doesn't, yeah. You'll find out once you put your bumper back in where it goes. Now, we could pull our hinge pin out completely, but we'll need to remove our shock and sway bar. For the shock, you will need a 2 mil. And the swear bar itself, you will need a 2.5 on this guy here. Da, 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 da. Remove the sway bar. Now, one thing if you notice, if you're trying to look at this AR, it might be different from your stock one. It is, because this is an RPM version. Now we'll need a new 2.5 right here to remove the rear carrier. Pull that out. Remove your rear carrier. And then grab needle nose 
or plier of pliers remove the hinge pin and you have your rear a arms in your hands this is say this is would be the broken one toss it grab your new one pop it in the hole Sometimes they need a little bit of persuasion. And your screwdriver sometimes is good. <laughs> now, in your rear carrier, uh, you'll notice you have two holes. Just make sure to put it back in the same. That way it will match the other side. Or if you do decide to change it, to put in the lower hole, uh, make sure to do both sides. But on certain vehicles, uh, it might hit your dry shaft on your A-arm. Now grab our 2.5, reattach our sway bar. If I can. Seriously? There you go. Now, if you do forget where it goes, just look on the one the other side. It's going to be the same. Now, unfortunately, if you did break both sides and lost some parts, your best bet to be to find this where it goes. Look at your manual. Your manual will tell you where it goes. Two mil here. There we go. Now time to reinstall a blue bar, a hinge pin retainer, grab a bumper. You'll notice here in the bottom, uh, it is keyed. This inserts itself, just make sure to insert it. And what I do, I always put my middle one in, middle screw that holds the rear bumper at the same time and the bar. Just easier, everything gets more solid, not solid, keeps everything in one spot, let's say. There's no fiddling with, uh, try to reinsert it. Like it's doing to me right now. I think the bar is, I think my rear bar is bent. Not a percent sure on that one. If I put it in correctly, that will help a lot. And then you just reattach this guy. Grab you two small screws. Flip the vehicle over. Attach my sway bar. Now 
then all the steps you did to dismantle you just do the opposite now if you guys have any questions or comment post down below i'll be gladly to answer you guys and if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up i do appreciate it and it does help a lot in the ratings and don't forget to subscribe leave a comment all those good things thank you for watching